Hey there, StarCraft fans. It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Circa Brudor Remastered. I'm a bit under the weather, but I feel good enough to cast some StarCraft today, so it's going to be a Carbot cast. Top side, it's going to be a green Protoss player on destination. It is Bitter, otherwise known as Mr. Bitter. He is an American uh, caster and a content creator. And on the bottom side, it is in control. He is also a caster, and he passed away a few years ago, so I just want to keep his memory alive by casting his games. All right, so a ZVT here to or a ZVP here today. No tanks here on Destination. So you can't wall uh, Destination from side to side with tanks against Zerg, which in control is very, very happy about. Yeah, anyway, I'm casting this about a week early, so if you're asking if I'm still a little under the weather, I'm probably not, honestly. After a week, I've probably recovered from most things that are going on. <sighs> Doing just fine, thanks. Went and saw the Spider-Verse movie, it was fantastic. Ooh, is that a pool first arama? Yeah. Pool first arama, nine pool. Here from our guy in control, it's a two-player map. Aggression is pretty good. On the two-player maps for sure. Pro comes cruising in. This is, again, a Carbot skin replay. Check out Carbot at his YouTube channel in the description. He is doing a, a Diablo series right now and some Elden Ring stuff and uh, Diablo 4 stuff. So if you like Blizzard games, check him out. He also has a full playlist of StarCraft Carbot. So, Forge opening here versus the Nine Pool. This is why we scout. Terror of the Overlord moving out here. We got Terror of the Overlord merch at Falcon Paladin dot store. What is this probe doing? What is this probe doing? Is this going to be a proxy? Scouting for a proxy? Uh, oh, no. I think he's going to put cannons right here. Okay, all right, Mr. Bitter. Very, very sneaky start here. <laughs> he is hiding. We got uh, two cannons coming up inside the natural base. No gas yet. Extractor here, and I do like Carbot's attention to detail, right? So little Zergling swimming in the spawning pool. And here we go. Slow wings moving out across the map. Metabolic boost on the way. But, yeah. Two cannons. Placed just so. So that the Zerglings... Are going to be killed if they try to run up here. Nexus on the way. Gateway further walling off the uh, access <laughs> to the main base. And this little probe here, hiding, hiding behind the minimap. We can see you on the minimap. Oh, ha, 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 ha. All right. So, what is the play here today? Mm, I don't know. Do you want to jump on this? It's a lot of lings. Yeah, he's going for that run by a Rooney. Jumps on one of the cannons, wipes it out. Okay. All right. Wow. Great angle from ne uh, in control getting in here. Check that action. I'm gonna start chomping away at the Nexus a little bit. Oh my gosh, getting the main Nexus would be an absolute killer, killer blow. Probes fighting there. Pretty good at fighters against these Lings. You can see their little attacks coming in. But yeah, if you want the Carbot skin for your StarCraft because it's cute and awesome, check it out. You can buy it at the link in the description as well. Yeah, so there's three Lings left. They're not Jadong Lings, but whatever. Second base coming in from in control. This probe is... Why are you coming down? Oh, it's the same one. Okay. This drone maybe wants to go for a third base pretty quickly against this two-base opener from his opponent. Oh, look, guys. You are not killing this Nexus. You can bruise it. It's nice. You're not killing it, though. This probe has got to have some kind of a plan down here. I just don't know what it is. Maybe just waiting for these two lings to die before he starts throwing down another pylon down here? I don't know. Like, at some point in control, has got to get suspicious. There's no further tech here, right? No cyber core. So you can't get any other further tech. You can only make gateways and cannons at this point with this technology. What are you doing down here? Third base coming up left side from in control. 
I like it. I like non-standard little crazy aggressive openings because it just kind of makes us wonder what's going to happen next. Because if just both players open up, very standard, right? Hatch first. Maybe a gateway expand here from the Protoss. We're like, okay, so it's going to be a, a Stargate. It's going to be Corsairs. It probably will be. But maybe not at the time that it normally is, right? Oh, there's a Zealot up here. Look at this guy. Look at this guy running around trying to kill some of these drones. There are uh, two sets of wings on the way. The drones, for now, are going to try to take him down. He get, man, he gets zero kills, and he's dead. Okay, not the most effective zealot harass of all time. Oh, the cannon rushing the third? Holy crap, bitter. What a genius, evil genius idea. These things are still alive? That one's got three kills. How are they not dead? Come on, Mr. Bitter, you got this. Oh, he is cannon rushing. Look at this timing, too. Can you see this? He can. He can barely see that cannon warping in. Now he can see both thanks to the spreading of this creep. Ah ha ha ha. So what do you do? Maybe try to send some links up there to shut it down, but God, you're in trouble. This is amazing. I like this from Bitter quite a bit. Mr. Bitter having a great time. Got a cannon up in case, I don't know. These links try to get into this mineral line. These links, though, seriously, having a great time being incredibly annoying. Um oh. Okay, well, third hatch, taking cannon fire. Probably going to die. There's really nothing here for in control to do to shut that down. He's getting a spire. I am waiting for a cyber core. Cyber core, hooray. So Mr. Bitter a little bit behind on this. So, so far, good stuff, man. Yeah, really, in control. He sent drones over here like he didn't see it, which he did. It was totally on his mini-map, totally visible. So his third hatch dies, and killing the third hatch of a Zerg player in a PvZ when you have two bases is almost an automatic guaranteed win. The thing is, the gateway is late, right? And the Spire is way ahead in overall tech time here and build time. So I'm wondering if there's a window here where a bunch of mutas might actually be good. This is Falcon suggesting mutalisks. What is wrong with him? Don't know, man. Don't have an answer for that. Citadel on the way. It is. It's six mutas, and this is one time I kind of feel good about it. Just because the Stargate is so late compared to what it normally is. Usually the Stargate is done way before the Spire is done. Like minutes before the Spire is done because it takes so long to build. Because, you know, you can make seven mutas at once. You can only make one Corsair at a time. This little three-kill Ling is just having the time of his life. Look how cute he is. Look how cute he is. I've actually got a stuffed little Carbot Zergling that I got from his merch store. It's pretty amazing. Pretty cute stuff. Kids like it too. All right, Mutalisks. Dude, this probe scout is amazing. So third base, right side, Kakaru, scouting it out. Okay, not scouting for anyone, but these mutas are like, okay, how many Corsairs do we think there are? One, and there's one. There's additional cannons coming up inside uh, this main mineral line, so the mutas can't get too effective. There's a Dragoon down there too. Couple Scourge, you do wanna bring Scourge along if you're bringing mutas to a Corsair party. Exactly what in control is going for here. So he sees the Corsair. Oh gosh, dead Corsair. No, it didn't connect. Oh, there we go. Second connection happens. Corsair down. More cannons getting thrown up here because of the danger and the nature of these mutas. And in control is going nuts with the mutalisks. Okay, so he is committing here in a way that I don't know if I feel good about, but the Corsair count is currently zero. So if the Corsair count is zero for your Protoss opponent, maybe mutas are awesome. Because, you know, Mutas were insanely good in OG StarCraft. And the reason they made the Corsair was because Mutas were insanely good in OG StarCraft. So, uh, Mutas just absolutely going to town here. Uh, maybe overextending a bit, guys. You're losing Mutalisks pretty harshly. And there are Dragoons coming down. So maybe back it out. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that was a good decision to attack that deep into Cannon Town. Maybe snipe the Forger. Maybe this pylon or maybe this gateway. I don't know. There are maybe better targets there than going for those uh, cannons because you've taken a lot of cannon hits already. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mutaling going to jump on these cannons? Yes, yes, I think they will. Ooh, there we go. Leg enhancements on the way from, in, uh, from Mr. Bitter, finally. All right, Ling Muta, Rawr. take this, cannons. How dare you kill my third base? We shall get our revenge. At last, we shall have our revenge.
Arcana in to help deal with these Immutalisks. Love that plan. Third base rolling from in control. Maybe considering expanding back here, going left side again. Now that the cannons are gone, it's a much more attractive uh, real estate position. Working on Hydra upgrades, working on faster Overlord movement. So all these things are fine. I think we're pretty much done with Mutas at this stage of the game. Corsair count keeps getting produced and therefore the effectiveness of the Mutas is just going to continue to fall off time and time again here but 43 to 32 workers in favor of bitter hasn't gone for a third base yet hasn't really felt good about it dude muta stop taking hits from corsairs it's bad really bad for you link try to make sure there's not a third base back here they scout it shut it down there's nothing to shut down so whatever third base right side got ourselves a robotics facility coming in All right, Muta's jumping in here. There are only six of them. Corsair jumps in to get some stuff done. What a weird engagement this is. Hydra, Dragoons, Archons, Corsairs, speed lots, and the third base is gonna die again. Man, if losing the first third base wasn't enough to get a win, then I think losing a second third base might just be an absolute, like, 18th nail in the coffin kind of a thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That hatchery taking hits. These wings. Popping in to try to save it. Plus one attack on the... Oh my gosh, he's going to save the hatch. Okay, enough wings pop up. Enough hydro support. Enough muta support. Third hatch is alive, but it's got 300 HP on it, so it's not happy. We can definitely discern that much. Lurker aspect on the way. From in control. Oh, little zealot. Managed to make it all the way into the main base. Look at this guy. Really good drone micro here, actually, from in control. Oh, hang on. Three kills on our Zealot. Our Robert the Zealot here. We do have Robert the Zealot merch available at falconpaladin.store as well. Psionic Storm on the way. Dragoon attack range being upgraded. Still waiting for Bitter to go for a third base. I think maybe... Thinking about over here, but that's what the Overlord is scouting for, right? Right. So, <laughs> Sonic Storm is on the way. I think we already mentioned that, but it's going to be good. Yeah, man. Zealots trade really well against Ling's until Adrenal comes out. But Ling Hydra is really good against Zealots for pretty much the entire game. The Lings are pretty good at tanking. The Hiders are doing the damage. They're not taking the damage in that situation if you're microing properly anyway. I can't believe Singularity Charge isn't done yet. Here at 13 minutes. So yeah, this, this feels like a ladder game between thinking Troll and Bitter. No one's taking this incredibly seriously, but hey, that's what makes it fun, right? All right, Lurker's up. Tossing those spines in. Hydra sniping a High Templar. These guys don't have enough energy for Storm yet. Oh, free Archon, too. Okay, saving his third base here, I think, is given in control a really nice advantage. Lurker just getting some spines off on these Dragoons as they go deeper into Zerg territory. What is the plan? I think he might be trying to take down this hatchery, which... Ooh, there's a lot of DPS coming in. Eh, hatch, okay, 300. Dead. Uh, 250, 200, 190, sub 200 here, and he saves it. In control is babysitting this base like it is his firstborn, and he should. Oh, yeah, Lurker's trying to poke up here and harass, but remember these cannons? And there's obs out now, too, so, like, no, not happening. But denying a third base would be a pretty good job for y'all, so keep that ball rolling. Third base denial on the way. Got a little scanted down here. He's a snack. Don't step on snack. All right, lurkers, middle of the map. There are dragoons. There is an observer. This is not a good place for lurkers. Man, this game is going back and forth on me. I feel like in control's got a massive lead, and then there's a great play from bitter, and in control maybe makes a poor life choice, and 
then bitter does something dumb and it's just this is what foreigner starcraft is all about man two americans going head to head two of the better americans to represent the country and it's just you know it's not stork versus effort here that's for sure it's not terror versus mini it's not bisu versus jadong by no stretch oh this is this is what i thought bitter was gonna do but with cannons oh my gosh Okay, so Cybercore taking some serious hits. It's 109 to 94 supply in favor of Bitter, including a 5 worker lead. Without any Dark Swarm up here, I do love this Dragoon stuff. Plus, to attack on these guys, they're going to be great until Dark Swarm exists. I'm waiting for Dark Swarm to happen, but uh, at this point, no. Will those drones get evacuated because the Zealot showed up? Oh, he got this. He finally got the third. Okay, well, I guess what we're going to do, we're going to watch that happen. Yeah, so sub 300. Where on earth? Oh, two dragoons sneak down the right side. Get all in here. All there is defending this base is a single lurker and plus two dragoons. Okay, yeah. That was a beautiful sneak and snipe by Bitter. Okay, so now he's two base versus two base. Fourth base is coming up left side here from in control, but he just lost his third, so maybe that's the third now. Ah, the sneakiness. The sneakiness of all of this stuff. But Bitter doesn't have a third base of his own. And he has no capability of dealing with these lurkers. Okay, he's mined out the minerals, blocking that back entrance. He can go back here and actually take down... Well, he could, except his entire army is dealing with this stuff. Dude, another High Templar snipe. I don't know if he got a storm off. Maybe he did. There's some bruised Hydralisks in here. But man, Mass Hydra against Dragoons. Good trades, y'all. Plus one attack on those Hydras. It's plus two for the Dragoons, so nice upgrade advantage for sure. In control, needs to put a hatchery up on that right side. Uh, does he? Maybe he doesn't. Dude, if he kills this hatchery. In control is just getting absolutely squeezed here. Bitter's entire plan today has been don't allow the Zerg player to have a third base. We're going to cannon rush the first one. We're going to try to snipe the second time. And he got this one too easily. Eat. Nice snipe on the obs, but that lurker took too many hits anyway. And oh, that one died too. Man, lurker's dying. In control's got enough money to re expand two times. Double expand here. That would be good for him. If it's going to happen, I don't know. Lurkers finally get cleared out behind the natural base. Looks like Bitter's going to try to expand up to that backside minerals only location. It's an emergency location sometimes, right? If you don't feel safe enough to expand out here on this map, then expanding back here gives you a little bit of a sense of safety. There's this ramp you have to defend. But I don't know. Dude, forcing... Okay. Forcing a cancel on this third base. Still no third base. Right side. In control of two basings. We've got 17 minutes. Oh, he's trying to take a third back here. So both players going for the safety of the behind. Oh, there's another canceled third base. Stop me if you've heard this one before. I think Bitter has this thing. Although, again, it's been going back and forth so heavily this game. I don't know. I don't know if I can predict it that way. Uh, plus two or no plus two plus two hydra attack is on the way but as mentioned plus two attack is done already for the gateway units so look at him just being like nah this is a very straightforward game plan man third bases no absolutely not where are his obs hey, a storm got tossed down there's his obs so these lurkers are all dead there's way too many dragoons with too many good upgrades for these lurkers to survive get down here and shut this third base down and call it a day oh gosh muta's dying Good storm on these hydras on the left side. Oh my gosh. Forcing it. Ah, in control. Just like slamming his fists on his keyboard right now. This is so frustrating for a Zerg player. For anyone to basically be told you don't get a third base. It's a 19 minute game and you don't have a third. And he's trying to take it left side again. Maybe that's going to work. That's 99 to 42 total supply. Uh, no, 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 no. Can Hydras get down here and actually do some harassment at this third base of Bitters without taking cannon shots? And that's a cancel third again. 
Ah, uh, that's a drinking game. Every time in control cancels his own third base. Take a shot, man. Probably get alcohol poisoning by this stage. Okay, not that bad, but it's a lot. It is way too many for a 19 minute game. DT sneaking down. Got some plans here, dude. This is this is so brutal. He's trying to expand here. He's like, maybe I can do this. I'm surprised there's no chatting going on here. Again, these are both Americans. Oh my gosh, this base, DTs. Well, all right, we're just gonna sneak on into the main base and try to one-shot some drones. That's not a bad idea if you're a Dark Templar. Look at this guy, he's gonna do some jump flips as he attacks here, 123 to 64, ugh. Okay, but there it is. Look at that, front flip. They're so cool. Look at him, like, and it doesn't tell you your units are under attack because it one-shots them? Ah, this game is over. Look at third base, in control's trying. Bottom left corner two. Where is my queen's nest? Where is my hive in control? We've seen games. We have seen games on the channel recently where an elite Zerg player is able to defeat a Protoss player without a hive. Okay? It's amazing. It's super cool. It requires a lot of amazing macro. Oh my gosh, this DT has 10 kills. Look at him go. But you can do it without having Dark Swarm or Plague. Okay? Your muta control needs to be good. You need to snipe High Templar. You gotta have a ton of hiders and lurkers. You gotta be active, you gotta have good map awareness, good positioning, like all these things are things you have to do. Hey, a third base exists. Oh, and the third base up bitter under a massive Hydra Lurker attack. Holy crap, okay. That is a big, big move from in control, but Bitter's like, yeah, whatever, dude. I'm just gonna wander down and kill all your stuff before we can kill our stuff. He's just base racing, I think. Dude, this bottom left base is bleeding. That base is not happening because the Zealot came down here. Neat. But big, big problems at the natural base of in control right now. The third base of Bitter is gone. Ton of Lurkers denying pretty much all mining for Bitter at his natural. He doesn't have any income either. Uh, both players are struggling mightily here. But the fact that it's 133 to 58 supply tells me that I think Bitter has this game. Well in hand, just with basic maths. Oh man, drones all dying. I mean, the good news actually for him control is that he still has some mineral patches available in his main base. It's the nature of Zerg. They don't really saturate their bases that heavily, so they will have income at bases that Protoss and Terran won't at 22 minutes. There are some High Templar and Zealots defending these bases for Bitter. Yeah. Goodbye, Lair. Goodbye, Hydralis Den. There is no mining going on down here from in control. He's got 900 minerals and two gas. And no spawning pool. Uh, oh, he could make... No, he can't make hydras. So no spawning pool. Can't make any lings. That'd be actually pretty useful. He's got a, some lings out now. Oh, okay. Well, that's your GG. We're done. This hatchery is kaput. And in control, trying to stick it out to the end here, but like, you know how many Protoss buildings still remain? You know how many few, oh my gosh. This is it, this is the last Zerg building here. Is he maybe gonna try to build up here though? Oh, these lings. No attack upgrades on the lings, none whatsoever. High Templar, not on Fenergy for Storm, same for this guy. I mean, look, if there's any way for in control to come back in this game, it's just miracle level stuff at this point. Like we're gonna have pray to all of the Catholic saints for help with this because it'd be the, like the most miraculous comeback in the history of Starcraft. Not even kidding about this. Ooh, we could build a hatchery up here. Would better check that area. I mean, probably. Dude, where'd your obs go? Where is your observer? Where are, you should have more than one observer. Where are your observers? Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Lurker down. 
I'm not even sure Storm is necessary here, but that's it. Hydra group inside the main base of Bitter is gone. Tech structures are saved for the most part. I mean, mm, sort of. <laughs> and then, yeah, in control, trying to expand on this top right side. Maybe that's a distraction, though. Maybe that's just him being like, oh, yes, kill this base. I have this Satchery inside my own main. You'll never think to check there. But Mr. Bitter will. Yeah, all right. Uh, this game is pretty much over. Little drone ASMR for you. Kind of. These Dragoons, you can hear them across halfway of the map, guys. They have the loudest attacks, I swear. The utter stubbornness of in-control here is hilarious, by the way. It's kind of in-control personality to be like, hey, come find my hatch. <laughs> Bitters back to rebuilding. Oh, he's rewarping in his third base, top right. Excellent. I'm not sure I've ever seen a destination game where this base and this base were not even attempted to be taken. Not even tried. I guess maybe I've cast some shorter games as part of like a cheese comp. Where that's the case, but... Yeah, all right, we done. GG in control taps out, and Mr. Bitter is our winner in 26 minutes and three seconds. <laughs> oh, well, that was fun. I'll give you that. I'll give you fun. Cannon rushing the third base, not allowing in control to have a third base at all, man. How many times did he cancel his base? How many times was the third base killed? Like six, seven, eight times altogether. Good game plan here for Mr. Bitter, that's for sure. And getting out tier three units like High Templar versus non tier three units like Hydralisks <laughs> and Lurkers and Lings. And uh, yeah, foregone conclusion here. No third base, no Dark Swarm, no Plague, bleh. 147,000 points here from Bitter, 124,000 points from In Control, outproducing the Protoss player, but man, killing 254 Zerg units. So only 140 here for In Control. And yeah, getting outspent by the Protoss player as a Zerg player, you'll lose pretty much every single time. So let's see here, getting outspent by the Protoss player in control, or by, let's see, in control getting outspent by the Protoss player by 600 resources. Yeah, not very good. <laughs> oh man. That was good. That was really, really fun stuff there. So yeah, two Americans, it's going to be fun. So right there, that is going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War a Remastered and a Carbot Skin. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.